Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the file system module in Node.js, and today we will look into how we can write raw data that's stored in a buffer in memory uh, to a particular file of our choosing. Alright, so the functions we'll use to do this are the fs.write and fs.writesync functions. Uh, what we'll need to provide to these files are a file descriptor. Uh, which means uh, the file in question will need to be opened by us and closed by us because these functions don't actually open or close the file for you. So that's your responsibility. So after a file descriptor, what we'll be using is a buffer. Okay, that buffer will contain our raw data. Uh, optionally, we can provide offset. Uh, offset is uh, where in the buffer you'd like to start taking data to write to your file. Uh, the length will be how much of that buffer uh, you want to write to that file and the position will be referring to where in the file we'd like to start writing data. Okay so that's your essentially your start position in the file. Uh, when we are using the asynchronous version of these uh, functions, uh, we will provide a callback, and this callback will take an error and the number of bytes uh, that was written to the file. Uh, the synchronous version of uh, these functions uh, will uh, uh, has will have as re return value the number of bytes that was written to the file. Okay, so the setup I have here is not unlike what we've had before. You can see I'm getting the file system module here. Uh, I have the path to my file at, at buffdata.txt. Now this is my data. Now this is just, uh, this data could be coming from anywhere. It could be coming from some HTTP request. It could be coming from a file that you've opened and read. So having this data here is simply for convenience and uh, it could have been coming from anywhere. Okay, so the idea is uh, we're going to have this data in a buffer and the buffer API allows us uh, to easily convert this into binary data. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and create that buffer. So const, <coughs> let's call the buffer buff. Now the buffer API allows us to easily do this using the from function and the from will we'll provide our data in here and let's just say our encoding is utf8 okay all right and uh, i also want some offset constant offset this is going to be six. Okay, so I'm going to be using this offset as six. And that's because I want to get rid of the first six characters here. Now, this is okay to do in this particular case because I know these six letters, O, F, F, S, E, T, each of these letters are represented in UTF-8 with one byte. Okay, so uh, in UTF-8, you know, there are some characters that are represented with two bytes. So you want to make sure uh, none of these characters appear here. So if you were getting this from some file or some HTTP request and you had no idea uh, which characters would be coming in, uh, using an offset like this to, to you know, you know, to offset characters, uh, would not be a good idea and uh, you know the, the reason why this is okay is because my data here is predictable okay I know what's in front of it and I know these characters are represented uh, in UTF-8 with one byte okay so uh, when uh, if you are doing this with files that you have no idea what they are so uh, what what characters are in them it, if they are encoded in UTF-8 uh, it will be uh, hard hard for you to predict how this offset is going to behave re with regards to the characters. Alright, so after this long-winded explanation about uh, offset and encoding, let's go ahead and uh, 
try to write uh, this data to a file using the fs.writeSync function, the synchronous version of this, uh, of this function. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and comment this out. All right, so the synchronous version will return the number of bytes. So we have that. So fs.writeSync. First, that right sync uh, will be taken in the file descriptor. Then we need to provide the buffer. The offset. Okay, so this time I don't really care about the offset. I want the whole data. I want everything uh, that's coming from this buffer. Uh, the next uh, uh, argument we need to provide is the length, so how long we want to, I mean the length of the data, so I want to get the whole data, okay, so there is a property uh, on the buffer that is byte length that will give us the number of bytes uh, uh, that uh, that you know, this buffer have uh, contained in it, and the next thing is the position in the file. So I want to start in the beginning of the file. So this is uh, zero. Now let's go ahead and do something with the bytes. Console log. Bytes. Bytes. Written. So this will essentially tell me the number of bytes that was written to the file. <coughs> and then the file will be created. And we should have all the data in that file. Let's run this. So it's telling us that 44 bytes were written to the file. Now let's look at the file. Uh, as we predicted, we have all the data written to this file. All right, so let's say now uh, we wanted to get rid of this. We don't want to write this to the file. So this is where this offset comes in. We were using zero as offset here. So let's provide the, the offset we want. Okay. Now we have an offset, but we're still uh, pr trying to get the whole length of the buffer. So from this offset right here, uh, this is six characters we are still going after six extra characters here. So when we end here, we're still going one, two, three, four, five, six extra characters. So we are going to go uh, out of bounds here of the buffer. So we don't want that. All right, so let's go ahead and remove, oops, not in here. I want to go in here, remove that offset Uh, from uh, from the left we want to go to and again the position I want to still write in the beginning of the file so let's run this and see what we get as you can tell here there it's not it's no longer writing the same amount of, uh, of bytes and if you look into the data we no longer see the offset uh, that we uh, that we no longer want. So we only get the things we're interested in. All right, so this is how you would write to a file in a synchronous manner. Let's go ahead and use the write function to do this uh, asynchronously. All right, so let's go fs.write. Okay, we want to write to, to this file descriptor. Uh, we want to write buffer. Uh, we want to provide an offset, right? The offset, we don't want the offset word to appear in the file. Okay, the length is still the byte, actually buff, but byte length minus the offset. 
pin, uh, the position is zero. Now, because this is the asynchronous version, we're going to get an error and the number of bytes that was written to the file. All right, so if there was an error, I want to print the error to the console, the error message, console.log. And if there is no error, okay, now we have access to the number of bytes that was written to the file. And as we did up there, I'll just copy that. We can just print that out here as well. So the the effect here will be very sim similar to what we had before. Uh, so as as you, as we expect, uh, we are writing 38 bytes to the to the file, and the data looks exactly the same. All right, now uh, we want to let's say also get rid of this right here. So this in front of there. Again, the offset we will need is the 6 here plus uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, and this is okay to do, to expect, because uh, all of these characters that I have in the strings are, uh, are represented uh, in UTF-8 by just one byte. Okay, so one byte is essentially one character here. But in other cases, there might be characters in here that uh, are represented with two bytes. So this will definitely mess up the the, the offset uh, based on the number of characters you want to grab. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead here and run this and see what we'll get. Okay, you can see the difference here. 33 bytes uh, are being written to the file, and you can see that this is also gone as well. All right, so this is the video, guys. Uh, we wrote uh, essentially raw data uh, from a buffer uh, to a file. Okay, so the functions we used are fs.write and fs.write sync, uh, and uh, we use the buffer. Uh, to provide the data to these functions uh, so they can be written to a file. The offset uh, has to do with where in the buffer you want to start taking data to write to your file. The length is how much of that buffer you want to write to the file. And the position is where in the file you'd like to start writing the data. Okay, these functions will not open the file for you, so you'll need to open and close the file, that will be your responsibility. Okay, the fs.write sync function is the synchronous version, and the fs.write uh, function is the asynchronous version, uh, which you'll need to provide a callback uh, that will take an error in the number of bytes uh, that was written to the file. All right, so if you'd like to uh, see more of these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll have uh, a lot of uh, Node videos coming up. Um, uh, please hit the like button if you like the videos, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time.